It's like my record player, but in green. Sometimes when I walk into my office, I get the feeling that I'm walking among the ruins of a lost civilization. Not because of the reigning disorder, but because it feels like the remains of the civilized person I used to be. Where is that damn detective? I'm gonna rip his head off. I swear I'll tear his eyes out. Hey! Hand over the pictures, you bastard. Now! Otherwise, you're gonna be dead meat. Hear me, cat? Oh. Ah. Oh, and it's... What is that? Xbox buttons? Man, how am I gonna know? I meant Keep to play it cool. Mouth, shut, huh? Yeah, I meant to do that. You asked for it, buddy. I'm gonna kill you! I didn't realize it was this kind of interactive. Give me the goddamn pictures! It wasn't the first time I regretted hitting a guy like him. Oh, that's a terrible idea to headbutt a oh, little rhino. What was I even thinking? Soft spots. Go for the nuts. Oh man, you broke my jaw. Well, now it matches your marriage. If you show my wife those pictures, I'm dead meat. You'll ruin my life, please. Sure, the gun didn't work. So why not shed some tears? I wasn't gonna use it, man. I've never shot a fly. And I'm no two-timer either. It only happened once, for God's sake. A one-timer. I'm just her bodyguard, that's all. She seduced me. I love my wife, honest to God. I, I even quit the damn job for her. You can't break up a family for one tiny mistake. Hmm, what's that mean up there? It's my job, baby. Look, you protect that girl, and I spy on people like you. We all have to be professional, no matter how sick it makes us at times. Okay, how about this? You give me those pictures, and tell her a white lie, and I pay you ten times what she's offering. You save my family, and you make a pretty penny. What do you say? Deal? For as long as I could remember, I had collected nothing more than bad gigs, debt, and sorrow. My self-respect and bank account were racing to see who'd hit rock bottom first. Listen, we likes the monies, but we gotta be honorable. You're only making things worse. You better leave before I lose it. Look, partner, I've been asking about you. You're a good detective, but I know you've seen better days. You've had nothing but crappy cases lately, like this one. I'm offering you a way out. Money can go a long way, you know. You could try running some ads. Maybe you'll find better clients and well-paid gigs. You know, start all over? Come on, think about it. You can save my family and save yourself. You pulled a gun on me, dude. I warned you. Okay, now I'm officially about to lose my cool. Three. You son of a... Two. Decision. Wait, man, don't shoot! One. You are gonna regret messing with Eugene Colbert. I swear to God you will. A rhinoceros called Eugene. My uninvited guest had left me several gifts. First of all, a massive headache. That guy's skin was hard as a rock. Second of all, an empty wallet. Business as usual. Third, People must find it kind of hard not to take, like, far too huge for my bribes, good. right? Especially when no one least, the certainty that is more at risk or anything yet from to come. Uh, he's a nice guy. You'll, uh... <sighs> you see what I said about my pal, Black Sad? Doesn't even know you. And he's already offering you a seat. <laughs> yes, exactly what I was doing. That's right, of course. That's me to a T. Oh, the Please, voice acting is actually great. Shut up and listen, buddy. All right. I brought you a client.
so if in this world where like she has human hair but she's an animal but I don't have human hair but I'm an animal, am I technically bald? Am I a bald man? Is that how it works? Nice graphics, isn't it? You're sitting in silence this whole time? Telling me her tale, apparently. And that's why we need to find him soon, or we, we will have a very serious problem. Hmm. Thanks for the information and the picture. They'll really come in handy. Let me see if I have this straight. <laughs> she told me her tale, and then I checked out hers as she left the building. Use the D-pad. Navigate through different spots. Select hotspots that you want to interact with. Okay. Bobby Yale, a boxer at Dunn's Gym, has a crucial fight against the reigning champion in two weeks. But he disappeared two days ago. Yes. A promising boxer. Your father, Joe Dunn, boxing manager and gym owner, ah, hanged himself two was. days ago. Yes. <laughs> yes. In short, if Bobby Yale is a no-show for his fight, you'll have to pay a fine. But since you don't have the cash on hand, your father's gym would have to close. Yes. So you want me to find Bobby Yale? Yes. No. Jake wants you to find Bobby. Oh, I see. Well, first of all... Yeah? I'm really sorry, Miss Dunn. Please accept my condolences. Thank you. Damn it, John. Will you take the case or not? Yo, this cat actually looks so much like my family's cat. Because he has the same Batman-like markings. Sure. I know the money is tight, so uh, how about this? If I solve the case, we'll see how much you can pay. I'm sure we'll find a suitable price. Mm -mm -mm. Must be hard to be a private detective. I always thought it'd be really cool, but then you get like older and you think about it. It's probably just like lots of sitting around and like spying on people. And I bet it's like 99% just like people who are cheating. Sitting outside motels with a camera. Look at this world. <gasps> Is that a bear crossing the road? search it myself at some point. Joe Dunn's boxing gym. Gymnasium. That cleaning lady, Miriam Purnell, the one who found Joe Dunn's body. She works part-time at Sam's Diner, just down the road on the left, right? That's right. Uh, I think I might uh, pay her a visit as well. And the gym, of course, and see what I can find. Okay, I think I've got enough to start with for now. Mm hmm. Okay, and now we're like walking around. I liked the little like quick time event thing at the beginning. I quite like games like that, interactive movies. I remember that fight. Back when Jake was coming up the ranks. <laughs> Wait, I wanna look at this thing. 
Ah, okay. So then... Looks like Donna okay. liked to measure his daughter and Bobby Yale each year. Sonia's measurements stop at 18. And there's a gap in Bobby's between ages 15 and 17. Hmm. Is that done? Wow. Cool. Tell you what, the controls are kind of delayed and clunky. Dude, these things always look so cool when people are on them. And then also the one with the little, like, punching bag that hangs down. And they do that, and it's like... Looks dope. I once shredded a bag like that, just out of pure rage. Winning isn't everything, but wanting to win is. Can I go in the ring? The noose. What leads a man to do something like this? Life's already dealt me a fair share of blows, but... I have hands, not paws, though. I have hands, but I don't have hair. What are the rules in this world, man? I don't know why. Something just doesn't add up. Yeah, I'm curious to see Nightmare Alley. It's still, it's cinema, isn't it? It's not like on a streaming mm. thing. Le Cinema. What's that in there? Is that a little collectible? If you want a box, train. If you want to win, train harder. Okay. Thanks. Get that. No. Get. Sir. Get the collectible. Please. Yeah. Stick it in the Hall of Fame. Okay. Cute. that I have to stick it every time, though. Wait, where'd the other one go? Oh, they're different sports. There's a boxing page. Okay. That's kind of cool. Man, we move so slow. Mm -mm -mm. The racist brain is so full of hatred that there's no space for trifles such as common sense or, say, spelling. But this most cultured writer spotted the error and attempted to correct it. Not sure what to make of the outcome. What type of animal is that? Let's stay in this bathroom. Offensive words on these walls, let me tell you. Not a bit. Okay. Bow, 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 bow. Do you remember the Mafia games and you would find little pin-up cards? You'd be streaming it and then you'd find a collectible and suddenly it'd be like, boobs! You'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> Just avoiding the collectibles, trying not to get banned. These things, except they're like smaller than this, I think. These look quite big. I've never worked out in a boxing gym, but I bet like some of the stuff is really fun. 
Oh my god. Do you know what? Just forget the... I want to stop sticking stuff in my book, okay? Can I just investigate the hanging? Thanks. What's in the fridge? Hmm, I can call people. Oh, let's call the rhino's wife. Let's see what's going on. Just for my own enjoyment, apparently. Black side here. Please don't tell me my husband. Well. Yes, Mrs. Colbert. I'm afraid you were right to hire me. I'm doing this whilst on another job instead of in my office. You are true to your word. I mean, if you're paid to, do you know what I mean? What's weekly mean? Or is that a person? Oh. Hey, Weekly. This is... John, did you get my pictures? Yes, and... That rhinoceros has one big horn. Uh... uh and the girl. Oh. I, damn. You want me to find out her name? Please. Pretty please. No, Weekly. Look. The rhinoceros came by and offered me money to keep quiet. Wow. Are we talking petty cash or big bucks? The latter. That's my boy. Good job, Black Sand. Your boy Black Sad didn't take the money. He what? did not. Listen, Weekly. Yeah, I know. It wasn't the right thing to do. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's let's just change the subject. Hey, I heard something weird's going on at the this The ugly gym. truth. What was the name? Dunn's Jim. Didn't you have a pal down there? Can I talk to him? I heard a woman's running it now. A boxing gym. Now, that's what I call news. <laughs> what do you know? Um, not right now. Actually, I'm working on a case for the yeah. gem on. But Liv, thank you so much for the 20 months free here. sub and Let the tier 2 support. I appreciate you. you. Will you? All right. You I'll are a super bear at bear end. Thank you so much for an amazing 20 months. Hope you had a lovely weekend. There we go. I feel like we'll tell that, tell the newsboy to stay, ooh, footprints, to stay away whilst this is going on. I don't know, I'm a believer in, like, if you're paid to do something or agree to do something, then you do it, right? You can't let people come in and pay over for you to, like, not do it and stuff if you agree to something. Locks himself out, has to like bang on the front door. Oh. Good morning, sir. Ah, it's a good morning to you. Man, Sherb fell on a hard times so when I stopped John playing Black at crossing, huh? Private Eye, would you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Not at all. Proceed, Your Honor. Have you seen anything unusual lately? Yes, indeed, kind prince. My pretty little eyes just saw a pink elephant parade. <laughs> <laughs> but naturally, I decided to join in. Uh, I started <laughs> doing the wacky tobaccos <laughs> when the show got cancelled. <sighs> I missed the spotlight, Papa. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Well, just like life, that was sure. <laughs> but then again, all things short fit me like a sock. <laughs> it just so happens that you can amplify. Oh my god, speak faster. Do this sir. old man a favor and bring him some sustenance. Uh, all right. <laughs> These are the things from his his house when he left. He's got the little peach lamp in there. The little peach prankster. Bless him. Oh, can't go up there. Mm. What else is out here? Wait, this is a long alleyway. Okay. Can I sprint? Oh, I'm going inside my brain, apparently. So 
something fishy about the suicide and a smudged racial slur. Okay. It's like the little mind map. Forty-three. Yeah, I wonder what year it is in this world. That's odd. Stuff seems quite old. Due to sudden and unexpected death of Joseph R. Dunn, a private service family and friends will be held at St. Fergus Church on October 14th at 6 p.m. Child star vibes, exactly. I'd prefer a yellow Cadillac, but I can't complain. Very nice. Let's see what's this way. Mary Purnell. The person who found Dunn's body works a block away from the gym. I'm certain she can give me the kind of information that... Hey! Watch where you're going, you jerk! You looking for trouble, moron? You better watch it. Go to hell, man! You better not show your face around here! Hmm. Ah. I, didn't, I wasn't done in the gym yet, though, was I? Worst detective ever. Mmm, a diner. You guys want a burger? And some pancakes. I love booths, like sitting in a booth. And there you go. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Come back soon. Welcome to Sam's Diner. What can I get for you? Black Sad, Private Eye. I work for Sonia Dunn. I need to ask you some questions about Joe Dunn. Um, sure. But I'm working right now. <laughs> Maybe later? Hmm, gross. Um, hmm. Yeah, I didn't see anyone. I only see one customer sitting at the counter. And he's asking for your cooperation. All right. Can I have a hamburger, please? Oh, sure. Regular or cheese? Regular. For the goat? Oh, was he, like, actually asking for food? I mm -hmm. thought he wanted me to get him booze or something. You want fries? A drink? No, that's it. I want okay. a shake. Is that for here or to go, then? To go, please. Mm -hmm. I guess this is what I'm getting for him. One burger to go, Sam. Okay! Okay, I want to see the chef. Oh, what's this? What am I doing? Am I analyzing her? What's, what does that mean? One, two, three. Huh? They look puffy and tired. Rude. Sleepless nights, hectic days, or has she been crying? Perhaps all of the above. This is our little Sherlock bit. Oh wait, I'm- oh, that's me sniffing. Okay, what am I sniffing? Perfume. Hair. The kitchen. Smells tasty. My pal is going to lick his chops. Is that the guy that nearly ran me over? And then hearing the radio. Oh. Sniff. Smells like cinnamon. No. Cinnamon and burgers. 
And one more eyeball thing. Her hand the handwriting. Is, nice and neat. is it the same as what was on the door or something? Nice and neat handwriting. This is pretty cool so far. Like, more interesting than I was kind of expecting, to be honest. Links. Your burger is ready. Java, Africa. Mm. Oh, cool! It just fast traveled me back here. Sweet. <laughs> Dude, can I like not watch oh, you eat? I'll let you enjoy your meal. Yeah, I'll be back when you're done. Four dude. people used the back door that very same night. Huh? Well, I might be blind as a bat, but as you can certainly see, I have two wonderfully functional ears. <laughs> <laughs> Very kind of you. Shame it didn't have any cheese, though. <laughs> Four people used the back door. I honestly two days thought he wouldn't like yeah, the cheese. Right. <laughs> I feel like if someone doesn't specify, then you leave it out in case they're like lactose intolerant or something. Who was the first person to use the back door? Someone big. Unlocked the door, stepped inside, <laughs> then came right back out. Who was the fourth person to use the back door? Someone big. I recall heavy breathing. The person left in a hurry, mm. running in that direction. Who was the third person to use the back door? Judging by the quiet footsteps, I'd say it was someone small. I'd say it was about 30 minutes after the second person came out. Whoever it was threw something in the trash and stood in front of me for a moment. Then, I heard a click. And finally, I heard trailing laughter in that direction. And probably the, the second, second person, person never came out. Door. A man, just a few minutes after the first person. He came back oh, out and they all came out. ungrateful bastard. Then, he threw something in the trash and walked back in. Oh, no, wait. Before that, he gave me a coin. A coin? I mean, do I look like I need spare change, huh? I mean, I'm staying at the Million Star Hotel, for God's sake. <laughs> Does I look like a bam? <laughs> Chug, put a mask on if you're going to bloody cough all over the shop. Crikey. I wonder what it's like to be blind. Did I cope? <laughs> Dude, not the time to have a little, you know, introspection session. There's the coin or something. Blind and legless. How does he get by? I can hear you now. <laughs> Just saying it all out loud. Looks like someone used it as a punching ball. Paint can. What else are we looking at? Looks like someone used oh, so it as a punching ball. Oh, I can look at the same ball. thing. So what's the book? And why does he have a book, if blind? No, it just wants me to keep looking at that one. Must be a different one. The eye. There. Could he have been a train conductor? Okay, is that it? I don't think there's actually any clues here. Where did you get that paint can? In the trash can in the back. I found it right after the Cummins and Gowins. Yeah, that's I what was thrown in there. Those people were leaving behind. That's all for now. Thanks. What can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? I barely know her, but 
She looks like a smart girl. She has to be a bear, but I mean, bears aren't ever really cool in this world. They're always just like big, dumb, you know, bodyguards and stuff. Oh, hello. Just those vibes. What do you think about Jake Astiambi? Who? Who's that? A big gorilla. Boxer, too. A friend of Joe Dunn's. Oh, yeah. I barely know him. I don't like how he looks at me. Hmm. Okay. Let's talk a bit more about Joe Dunn. Can you tell me how you found Dunn's body? Oh, well, she found the body. I thought I was alone. I clean early in the morning before Mr. Dunn comes in. Oh, so you have more keys to the gym. Yes, of course. There was paint on the floor, so I thought it'd be a busy morning. And then I saw him. <gasps> Maybe it's her footprints. Hanging there, like a baby mobile over her Yeah, she stepped in it. Then I think I panicked. When I calmed down, I called the police and waited outside. Sorry, that's all I can say. Don't worry. But if you remember anything else, let me know. Okay. How was Joe Dunn outside the gym? Also, give me a donut, I wouldn't know. though. I only saw him at the gym or right there. Got any Krispy Kreme? That was his spot. I think everyone liked him. But he never liked himself. What kind of boss was Joe Dunn? A good one. Always paid on time. Never raised his voice. Bless if I him. asked for the day off, he even cleaned the gym. Thanks, but I still don't get why he'd commit suicide. Hmm. His wife died years ago. Maybe he never got over it. Yeah, I don't know. A or maybe bat would he be did. an amazing character that was in a, a game long like time this. Ago. Maybe he simply had... He was definitely issues. killed. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Could be. The gym didn't really get that dirty lately. Hmm. I heard his relationship with his daughter wasn't ideal. Oh, really? Poor man. I don't have kids, but that has to be really hard. Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I'm afraid not. It's too painful. I know, but we need to find Bobby Random here. shot of a menu. Anything, any minor detail, could really make a difference. I'll try. Try now. Can I ask you about your job? Uh, which one? Tell me about your work here in the diner. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. You My did boss. not believe that at all. Oh, glad to hear that. Your boss what? How long have you worked at the gym? It's been, what, four or five years? Although, I don't think I'll be able to set foot in there again. This must be really hard for you. I'm sorry. Mm. Other than the diner and the gym, you don't work anywhere else, right? I wouldn't have the time, although I'm not sure I want to continue working at the gym. Where's the... Show me your feet option. It might be best to stay away from the gym, at least for a while, for your own well-being. In due time, things might change. Joey used to say the same thing. Mm, Maybe. A clue. Thanks. Oh, interesting. Any ideas where Bobby Yale could be? How? How am I supposed to know? He's really there when I clean the gym. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I I barely know him. Oh yeah, because that guy went missing too. Alright, let's see if that jogged any memories. Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I really can't remember anything. I'm sorry. Um, sorry. Oh, because her boss is there. Me. Okay, so maybe see I need to around. like get rid of him you somehow. Sam's diner. Bye bye. Rude. Hmm. I hope that wasn't a client. Although probability would suggest a cold call. Or, even worse, the War Veterans Therapy Group. Someone trying to see hmm. when I got here. Yeah, I was pretty sure I left the lockpicks on the table. Oh, 
want to search me old locky picks, eh? What if the only thing that keeps you going is the very thing that won't let you move on? Hang on, isn't this who's dead in the paint? I'll remember this. Hang on. It's too soon to say goodbye. She wouldn't hear me anyway. You're not ready to forget her. So I have a picture of the girl that's dead on my desk. What did you do to earn the admiration of a millinery culture, distant cousin? Sometimes, I also use it to type out reports that nobody reads and invoices that nobody pays. Nice. Ooh. Here's a tip for aspiring detectives. Pretend that booze is an issue. Bandidos, Mexicanos. Stereotypes. Mas tequila, truth, por favor. I use tequila to clean my lockpicks. In fact, I just finished cleaning them when that rhino walked in. Maybe we knocked them down during the fight. Good old Rick oh my days. Look pictures. away, cubs. I wonder if that rhino would ever have the nerve to use it. Oh, did I confiscate his gun from him? But it was mine. Okay, so I've got the phone. Alright, turn around. I don't know if I need to make any uh, phone calls. See what the options are. <gasps> Donna Blacksad, who's this? Wife? Hi, Ray. Uh, hi. Who are you? Take a guess. I already gave you a clue. I know your name, so... So, so, uh, 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 I don't know. Maybe I know your name Sister. because we're family. No way. My dad never calls me. Grandpa never calls me. My uncle never calls me. Well, he does sometimes. I'm um, unc. You got me, Ray. Congrats. What did I win? Hmm. What do you want? I want... a gun! Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang! One day I'll be catching this kid. You one day? I'm not giving him a gun. Good guys don't carry guns, Ray. You know why? Because they always end up shooting someone. Still not over, uh... Natalia? Patience, John. Time heals all wounds. <laughs> yeah, can't argue with that. Hey, we're kind of in a hurry. Ray's got a dentist appointment. I'll call you soon, okay? I'm really sorry. Sure. One last thing. Ray, hurry up! We have to go! Uh, Dad? Have you heard from Dad lately? Since his last letter. Same old, same old. Okay, now I really have to go. Bye, John. Bye, Uncle John. Smash. Susie. What was the <laughs> name? Smash <or> <laughs> The timing. Thank you for the 250. An anonymous cheerer. Black sad. Smash. Um, thanks. Police Commissioner Smirnoff smoked that cigarette. A dog. Judging by the way he put it out, he was pretty nervous. Okay. About the whiskey. Smells good. It tasted even better the day Smirnoff brought it. 
in exchange for a favor. A favor no cop should ever be paid for. Hmm. Okay. Caleb Holloway. Loses their toy under the sofa. Are we? Re are we? Can we not just move the sofa? <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to like point and click adventure style, find something to get it with. Oh my god! Cello. Doing my hey, job. I'm just doing my job. Next stop, Bobby Yale's place. All right. Just try to be a bit more communicative. You made a crappy impression, and now Sonia has. Second I tried to go in and talk to them like three times. What are they talking about? Communication. Get out of here. Hang up. <gasps> Can I put some music on? No. Oh my god, is that me off to fight in the war? How do I somehow look so much younger and I'm literally a cat? It's the smiling, isn't it? I look fresh-faced. I come back, I've seen some shit. I look grizzled now. I took the life out of my eyes. Expecting the phone to ring again. Most detectives feel safe with a gun in their pocket. Me, I prefer lockpicks. At least I know these little fellows won't backfire. Okay, so now I can open that thing. Let's have another little look in here. A visiting friend once told me that New York City. Smells like a giant bonfire. Oh, I'd say the smell is rubbed off on me. These Morleys are the best. Craig Spanow, NY Warriors star. It's out of this world. Cute. I was going to say, the world building in this is really good, but I guess if it's from a graphic novel, then it makes sense. It's, like, taken from the page, isn't it? It's like I really liked um, that Wolf Among Us, which was based on the Fable series. Like, that was really cool. I know they're doing an another one. Finally. Be good whenever that comes out. That's definitely one of Telltale's most interesting ones. Looking back, I wish I'd never found my lockpicks. Maybe I wouldn't have gone back to the gym. All hell was about to break loose. It's kind of a noir city, but all of them are fairy tale characters or versions of. Isn't one of them Mr. Toad actually in that or something? Who's the frog guy? And the main character is uh, a version of the Big Bad Wolf. Bobby Yale's place was on the way, so I decided to drop by, lock picks in hand. The gym could wait. I'm annoyed I got stuck not opening that locker, otherwise this would have had really good pacing. Walked around for 25 minutes for nothing. Sonia and Jake had already searched the place, to no avail. Got your boyfriend a lockpicking set for stocking for Christmas. Comes with a clear lock, so you can figure out how to do it. That's cool. I've seen like a couple of TikTok videos of people who do lockpicking as a hobby. 
or like a sort of just a bit of fun. And I always think, oh, that looks like really awesome, actually. It's like almost like a sort of physical skill puzzle. But a good detective would have better luck. And kind of practical if you ever find yourself in a pickle. When someone hits you like that, you know you're onto something. Yeah. It's only fair to show some gratitude to them. Have that. Well, well, well. Long time no see. That's not the same guy, surely. You actually did it. You ruined my life. Oh, no. But trust me, you'll pay for this now that my partner is sleeping. <sighs> Damn cat. Well done, Colbert. <sighs> In trouble. Now. <laughs> I guess I should have taken his bribe after all. Might have been a bit nicer this? to me. For every wrong answer, I'm going to give it to you with his club. Deal? Didn't we just witness your lack of aim? Wrong answer. First, well, second question. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Weren't you going to hit me? I'm still waiting for the blows. They both have the same pin on. That could Happy be something. Happy now. Where were we? They look what like the hell are you doing here? The card symbols. Can I examine you? No, 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 no. It should start to swell any moment now. Look at the pin. A shamrock? Is he Irish? It's a shamrock, but it's got card things on it. Suits, colors, what do they call them? Oh god, he's about to hit me. It's probably a casino. Okay, I think that's it. One more time. What the hell are you doing here? I'm a private eye. Sonia Dunn hired me to find Bobby Yale. <laughs> I hate detectives. Ow! Now, where were we? What the hell are you doing here? Are you of Irish descent? I've got an Irish boss, just like my friend Colbert here. I'm sure the name O'Leary rings a bell, right? Desmond O'Leary. If you live in New York City, you've certainly heard of the richest bookie in town. After everything that's happened, I was beginning to feel like this oh, case was finally moving forward. Wrong answer! But I was wrong. Alrighty. Let's try again. What the hell are you doing here? I know your friend Colbert. And his wife. Now he wants to insult you. All right, then. He's all yours. <sighs> all right. Now it's your turn. Ah, oh, if Not only I'd made friends with the rhino now. Being punished for being honorable. You'll be sorry for what you did to me, pal. Desmond. We caught some damn detectives snooping around Bobby Yale's place. Yeah, hired by Dunn's daughter. Safe and sound? What do you mean exactly? Hmm. Oh, sure. Will do. Too late. Colbert, stop hitting him, you beast. What a shame. We were just getting to know each other. <laughs> Poor Catman. Oh, man.
back here. I'll bust it up. Ooh, sounds like someone's here. Thanks, pal. So, what else can you tell me about Dunn's death? Getting, well, in, getting in shape for Sing much. 3. My memory's not what it used to be. Dunn wasn't black, but he allowed you and Bobby Yale to train here. Yeah, this was the first integrated gym in the city, I think. But not everyone liked that, hmm? You've seen the graffitis, right? If I get my hands on that bastard... Ask what all can the you questions. tell me about Sonia Dunn? She's hot, ain't she? <laughs> More than friends, question mark. Good night, Nix. It seems like her father's death didn't really upset her. Well, she likes to play it cool, which makes her really hot. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, I've known her since she was a baby. But she sure has grown, uh, if you get my drift. I hadn't seen her since she left for college about four years ago. <laughs> Did he just say he's known her since she was a baby, but now she's grown? It's weird. It's weird. What was Joe Dunn like? Uh, he was a decent man. Have you seen all those slogans on the wall? Those motivational phrases? Joe really believed in them. All of them. Okay. He played the saxophone, right? Yeah, pretty well for a white boy. But he quit when his wife died. Makes no sense, right? I mean, nothing draws chicks like the brass. Why quit when you're finally free? The brass. <laughs> Joe Dunn or Joey Dunn? Huh? Uh, nobody called him Joey. Well, maybe his wife. The Dinah Although, girl did. she didn't call him anything after she died. <laughs> <laughs> I found an empty wine bottle on the rooftop. Did Joe Dunn drink? Uh, only for a while, back when his wife died. But eventually he quit. After that, he'd only drink on special occasions. Do you have any idea where Bobby Yale could be? Not a clue. Okay. Do you know any of his relatives? His, his father, Av, uh, Av, uh, Avenarius. Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? Yeah, Avenarius, his wife, what a name. Bobby's mom, died shortly a a after. Dunn is the closest thing the family the poor kids had ever since. I dropped by Bobby Yale's apartment. I think he might be involved with O'Leary, the bookmaker. Uh, you sure? Yale had some dark years, no doubt, but Dunn turned him into a decent guy. I'm no detective, but I wouldn't follow that lead. If Yale's going to fight the reigning champion, he's got a big career ahead of him. He hasn't lost a single fight since he turned pro. The little bastard beat the socks off me a few years back. Wait, I wanted to ask about his past. You said Yale joined a gang back in the day? Know which one? Hmm. Hell, I don't know, John. This is New York City. They are more gangs than people. Okay. I better let you get back to your drills. Thanks right. for the info. Uh, is this the guy that came in at the beginning and was with the girl? But now he's out of his suit. Okay, so now we should be able to open the locker. With a lockpick. I wonder if there's a lockpick minigame. Nope. Hole. Oh. And other poems. <laughs> Hole. Mole. Dole. Cole. Soul. 
Your very own portable gym, up to five high resistance springs to boost your upper body strength. I got school. That's the homework in there, poetry. Thank you very much for the 250. I appreciate it. Very much. The clues collected allow for deduction. Okay, good. So it does actually tell us when we can do that stuff. So I don't need to just be bumbling around earlier. Skill. So that'll be what was thrown out. Well, I know this much. The chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale. And that's someone that left yesterday and threw it out there. Although it doesn't necessarily, I guess, mean that it was him. But it is. The empty box is in his locker. Okay. What about this thing? No, the thing above. Oh, I thought I was going to look at, like, the main event thing. Okay, maybe I can ask this guy about it. If he's down here, maybe I ow, maybe I can talk to the girl upstairs now. Oh, just walking into things. I like never watch boxing. I think I've watched three boxing matches in my whole life. But I love boxing movies. Oh, we're so good. There she is. Then we can probably find some other clues in here, too. Miss Dunn, can I run a couple of questions by you? If they help you find Yale, go ahead. I've watched tons of MMA, but I just find boxing really boring. Let's see, what are we looking at? What the? What's wrong? Someone's taking pictures from the rooftop. Are you sure? I'll go take a look. What? Now, who's that rope for, Miss Dunn? Mm. The weekly news. Weekly. Uh, uh, a weasel. Uh, 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 Whoa. Uh, 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 what the hell are you uh, doing here? Kind of should. I should let him fall just to see what happened. <laughs> Hey, hey, look! Isn't that Cassidy? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, he's the walrus. Don't change the subject, you sad little... Why don't we settle this over ice cream, huh, Jack? Mm. Just like in the good old days. I love ice cream. <laughs> How did you get up here? Uh, uh, I don't want anyone to see you. So I'd be so easily distracted. Come on, let's get some ice cream. Okay. Sitting in the diner with a spoon in my mouth. Mm. Everyone. I feel like there was something the I was mad at you about. Oh well. A gift. Something that makes them special. That makes them worth knowing. Foul smelling weekly is no <laughs> exception. No matter what he does, this it's thing. impossible to stay mad at him for too long. Foul smelling is cute though. Mm-hmm. This bourbon shake is delicious. Want a taste? You know I don't like milk. Your loss. So, I'm a cat. Gun I'm lactose himself, intolerant. Leaves his gym to his daughter, which makes her the first woman to run a boxing gym, I think. The real question is, why did he commit suicide? Well, it's pretty obvious. Is that so? Care to shed some light on this, Sherlock? Oh, there's no need to look for reasons. People hang themselves every day out of sadness. And stuff like that. End of story. The size of that shake. Good lord. 
I'd say he never recovered from his wife's death. But he'd recently fallen in love with another woman. Maybe he thought he was betraying his late wife. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's just a hunch. I wouldn't bet my life on it. I've got other suspects, like O'Leary, bookmaker. Desmond O'Leary? The same O'Leary who used to date Helen Moore? America's sweetheart? Now that's a woman. And then there's the Walrus. Who was that guy? Oh, come on. You've never heard of Frank Cassidy? The president of the Boxing Managers Association? <clears throat> Who's also Stone's agent, Bobby Yale's rival. Hmm. He might know why Dunn killed himself, right? I decided to ask Weekly to investigate Cassidy. My reasons? Weekly was right. Cassidy could have known why Dunn killed himself. Weekly had already proven to be nosy. The farther I kept him from the gym, the better. But was I don't Weekly, think he did kill himself. I should have picked the other the option. I thought I was just trying to like not give this guy information. Should I give him an order or a subtle suggestion? Mm, direct. Well, since you think Cassidy is a suspect, see what you can find. Hmm. Okay, but you'll have to do me a favor. Damn it. Tell Sonya Dunn that a legendary journalist from What's News wants an interview. Weekly, please. Well, if not, bye-bye, Cassidy. Should have just suggested it, huh? You know, there's a third option. What if I tell Sonya to sue you for spying on her? You wouldn't. <laughs> Try me. Okay, you win. That's what you get for trying to make me do things. Try to be nice. Try to make you a part of the team. I try to work with you as a partner, and this is what you do. So, was there really someone on the roof? Nah, I'm just an idiot. No one. I must be seeing things. A hallucinating detective. This must be my lucky day. Sure is. In the, in the downtime from Happy Feet. Playing some hockey. I'd like to take a look inside that safe now. Could you give me the combination? I'd love to help you, but my mother's birthday used to be the combination, but I already tried it. Hmm. Wrong password, eh? I wonder what he changed it to. Probably his new squeeze, you know? What's her birthday? I saw you arguing with a guy named Cassidy. What did he want? Uh, you remember the fight that needs to take place in order to save this gym? Well, Cassidy manages Yale's rival, Stone. The reigning champion. If Bobby doesn't show up, he'll lose money. Maybe not a lot, but enough to care. What's in those papers you're going through? Red tape. Great. If you find something, please let me know. I thought you were the detective. You do your job, and I'll do mine. Big, bright eyes. Looks well rested. Either she didn't mourn her father, or she really knows how to work that makeup. Compared to the other lady's eyes. Okay, what are we sniffing? Nice and steady heartbeat. Still the heartbeat. Anything else here? Looks like that was it. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Uh, 
a Rolodex. Wouldn't it be weird if cats had hands like that? Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. Raccoons have little hands, don't they? <gasps> Cards with staff information on the table. Ah, okay, well what's her birthday, his cleaner? Can I look that up? Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. Go inside your brain. Okay. Okay, maybe if I go over to the safe. Could you tell me your birthday? Of course. March 6th. And... Hey, it's coming year? up. I'm 24, Mr. Blacksad. You do the math. For real. No luck. Damn. A happy family? Cute. <laughs> the Statue of Liberty is an animal as well. Early. Stick you in my sticker book. I feel like collecting stickers or cards must be so fun. I've really had that hobby. Uh, look in the thing again. It's not going to let me look. I have to, I guess, find something else before it's going to let me do something with this, but it's 100% going to be a combination from somebody's birthday in here. Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. Probably got to go poke around at the diner lady some more. Let me just check there's nothing else to ask her whilst we're here. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm... Sure, you know. Bum, 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 bum. Like sports trading cards. I don't know if they're like stickers or what, but they're really popular now for like buying and selling and stuff. NBA ones and baseball ones and like the UFC does ones and stuff. I feel like that would be a neat little hobby. The thing with me is I never really want to sell anything. If I was to, like, collect things like cards that are, or comic books that are then like, oh, they go up in value if you buy this, and then in a couple of... It's like, yeah, but I never want to sell anything. I just want to hold on to it. It's mine now. So it would never be a trading thing. It would just be me buying stuff. Um, let's go speak at the diner. We're still... These footprints are a bit of a mystery, but maybe we'll discover something else. Excuse me. Oh. What's that? <gasps> I never went to the door this way. For Sonia Dunn. And this Thank is the you, handwriting. Does the postman always leave your mail on the floor? I don't know. I... I... What's wrong? Should have read it first, for sure. It's... Snoop. It's my mother's wedding ring. Oh my god, he gave it to the... Diner girl. To remarry. <gasps> Who had it? I don't know. My Juicy. father wore it on his pinky finger after she died. Not always, apparently. Will you find out why? Oh my I'll god, try. he proposed up on the but roof. Something else I thought I'm the drink and the this special occasions. The... And the rose... Your father's death and Bobby Yale's disappearance. Oh, oh my, yes. It could be. Will you please give me a moment? Of course. That is 100% what it is. And we'll connect the handwriting on the letter to the 
thing. Yep. Nice handwriting. The envelope. Okay. Mary put the wedding ring in the envelope and wrote Sonia Dunn on it. But why did she have the ring in the first place? Yeah, why? And then I have another one, right? Mary put the ring in the envelope. I put the screw in the tuna. Um, and then what else did we have? Cards with staff information. Calls him Joey. Bring in the envelope. Birthday doesn't open the safe. Be like she calls him Joey. They're dating. Hmm. They're banging. God damn it, banging. Brown and Joe Dunn and Item. All right, let's go ask her about it. Oh, another deduction. Okay, we're on a roll now. pieces have folded into place. So they were seeing each other. And then maybe... Uh, yes, okay. Hmm. What if Mary's birthday is the combination to the yes, same? Yes, we ought to have to know this. So I'm going to go up and look for that. Very satisfying little noise. Do you know that, that sound is very, like... JRPG or something though, like some old Final Fantasy sound, or like Zelda. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, date of birth, and then that thing. <laughs> oh my god, you can see that rhino's butt, dude. Okay, and then that one. Do it. She's not gonna let me back in yet, though. Yes. I need to search your office. Go on. You put the investigation before Sonya's feelings. Listen, I'm just trying to move things along here, please. I could have come back later, but who's got the time? Someone's missing. A man is dead. A cat man. And there it was. Mary's birthday. A week prior to that very day. So it was her birthday last week as well. Ka clink. Hmm, what do we have here? A few bucks. Just petty cash. Last will and testament. You open the safe? Yeah, and I think you need to see this. Si Smith and Simon. Can you tell me what it says? All right. I think this might be useful for the investigation, Mr. Detective. He left everything to me. Except some Mr. boxing Detective. trophies and knickknacks that'll go to Bobby Yale. I've got a bit of a cough, Mr. Doctor. When was it signed? It was written four years ago, just weeks after I moved to Buffalo. Hmm. Do you think Bobby Yale read it before he disappeared? Maybe. Congratulations. You're one lucky lady. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. All right. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Her dad died. Probably should save the... Co Sorry, I'm socially awkward. I just thought, you know, it's a nice thing for you, isn't it? God damn it. <laughs> Congra congrats. You got something in the will. You're so lucky. Hmm. 
I never would have taken Dunn for a gun owner. Dunn the gun. Okay. Now we go talk to the waitress. Maybe I should, hang on, see if this has got any questions with you. Um, I never asked about the gym's insurance. That's exactly what I'm reading now. So far, it looks like your standard small business policy. I think I know who had your mother's ring. You do? I can say that she tricked your father into... Do you know what? I'm going to go talk to her before I tell you anything, actually. I don't know if I trust you, I'll be honest. On second thought, I don't really know. Not knowing seems to be one of your strong suits. Yep. That's me. Call me old catty, catty no nose, catty no nose. Don't know nothing. I'm like, you know, naturally siding with the other lady so far. I think. Keep her level. She's returning the ring and not saying who it's from. Maybe she got a reason. Go find out. Probably just blurt her business to the daughter could cause an issue. Yes, go to the diner, will you? Yeah. The man was just trying to love again. Sell coconut soap in here. Two for one. Are you following me? Well, this is awkward. I know you're hiding something. What? Happy birthday. I just found out it was a week ago. Oh, <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. I'm sure you received wonderful presents. For example, she your pooped. date of birth used as the combination for Dunn's safe. Oh, my goodness. I... I can't talk here. My shift is over in 10 minutes. Can you wait a while? Can I get a refill over here, Mary? Coming right up. Mm, what would you want a refill of right now if you could have any drink in the world? Prepared exactly as you want it. I would take a big cold milkshake. Or like a frappuccino, actually. Man, More milkshake y though, but with like a little hit the in there. A little coffee Jordan hit. Found in his a little espresso cage. shot. We'd been seeing each other for almost two years. It all started with. Well. Weekdays, I start cleaning the gym at dawn, before my shift at the diner. Joey always came in early, just a little after I got there. He used to say it was the best time for the worst task of the day. Oh, I know exactly what he meant. Um, don't say anything, let her talk. Paperwork. He just hated it. But that was just him. Instead of putting off the things he couldn't stand, he did them as soon as possible. One morning, he saw me crying. I was having a rough day and... <sighs> mm. He tried to make you smile. He pointed at the coffee machine. You need a cup of joe and some fresh air. The way these decisions affect the story the and the way that it's framed is really top. interesting. Like, you seduced him, he seduced you. Like, I can go either way. 
Which is where Dunn seduced you. That word is a bit too much, Mr. Blacksad. You might be too young to understand this, but real love has little to do with seduction. One day, we realized those rooftop coffees were the best part of our day, so we began to spend more time together. But you never told anyone. This some whippersnapper. Why did you keep it secret? For Sonia's sake. She and Joey drifted apart after her mother's death. He was afraid that our relationship would only make matters worse. Until one day, on the rooftop, we realized just how serious our relationship was, and we decided to turn those moments into a lifetime. Hmm, he proposed. So, he asked you to marry him? Yes, of course. He gave me the wedding ring and we decided to tell the world. He said he needed to share that happiness with his little girl. Turns out, he wasn't that happy after all. What about you? How did you feel about telling Sonya? Maybe you already noticed, I, I have a slight cold. I really should be heading home. Hmm. Maybe you should cover your neck. I lost my scarf a while back. Not sure where. That could be a clue. And now, if you'll excuse me, that's my bus stop. But it's at someone's apartment. A pleasure to speak with you, Mr. Blackstone. Right. Mm. Bahama Mama. Sorry, I'm actually reading the drinks. That sounds like I was calling her a Bahama Mama, like, while she got on the bus. I was... <laughs> I'm guessing that's a cocktail. A boba? I've still never tried boba. I was like, I was about to say, what's a nana shake? Sorry, nana shake. A banana shake. Yeah, I'll have one of those nana shakes. Like my nan used to make. I think there's a boba tea that delivers to me on delivery. Meow, meow. A teddy bear company. Try it sometime. A lemon drop. What's a lemon drop? A zombie cocktail. I don't know what any of these drinks are. I did have a mojito at the weekend though. Mojito. Right, so what did we learn there? Some info. We're looking for a scarf. We kept her secret. Buffalo that works for O'Leary wears shamrock on his lapel. Mary has a cold. I don't... Okay, so we don't have enough at the moment to make another deduction. So let's go back in. A mojito. What's up, fancy hat shop? Long time lurker. Exciting to catch a stream. Exciting to have you here. Thanks for joining See if this guy knows anything. Joe Dunn. Live tapioca reaction. It's like tapioca. It's sorry, live boba tea reaction. It's like tapioca balls, isn't it? I don't know why I said a live tapioca reaction. Oh, I need to sleep. Um, I don't even know what tapioca tastes like. What else is that in? I don't know how I would do it, because I think they only go during the day, so I'd have to, like, put it on Instagram or something as a story. Did you know Joe Dunn had a gun in his safe? No way, man. He hated firearms. Although... Maybe someone else put it in there, left it there. When Bobby Yale was a teenager, he went through a crazy phase. Even dropped out of the gym and joined the gang. Nothing serious. Early one morning, he broke in the gym. Joe was already here and caught him red-handed. Bobby pointed the gun at Dunn and ordered him to open the safe. <laughs> so, Joe opened it and uh... asked Bobby to put the gun aside, leave the gang, and start boxing again. I got here Cute. five minutes later and found Bobby crying like a baby in Joe's arms. Then he just stood up and put on his gloves. Okay. That was his gun. Gotta find this Bobby Yale. Do these places have a drink called the Boba Fett yet? <laughs> and if not, why not? A Star 
Wars themed boba place. Did you and your father get along? Let's just say our relationship got better when I left for Sunny University. An eight hour drive from here. Meaning? I'll lay it out for you, Mr. Blacksad. Please do. My father, Quite Joe Dunn, disappeared the day my mother died. He became a shell of himself. Joe Dunn, my legal guardian. A man who gave me food, shelter, clothing, and an education. And that's more than you need to know. Okay. What can you tell me about Jake? I thought you were friends. Guess I was wrong. He and my father were friends. So don't go down that road. Wasn't going down any road. Did you get along with Bobby Yale? <sighs> what? Okay. Did you just forget it? Ignored I wouldn't me. give a damn about him if it weren't for this stupid gym his stupid fight is supposed to save. Happy? What do you think about Mary, the cleaning lady? Can't say. I, I barely know her. And I'm not one who's quick to judge other people. You see, I've got this friend. He's a journalist, and uh, the thing is, well... I'll ask anyway. Why? He was a woman running a boxing oh. gym. That's quite the story. Is that and the how skip did this button? friend of yours find out, exactly? I'm pretty sure he saw the, uh... I don't even want to hear you. I accidentally lent on I the back button. I just hope you prove your professional worth. I'm sorry. The day is over. Did you find anything interesting it in was those very papers? unprofessional of me no. to... Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. It doesn't even work now. Oh, is this someone else's locker now? Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Bro. <laughs> Jake, give me one good reason not to smash in your face. What the hell are you doing in my locker? I'm a detective. That's what I do. He had the yeah, pen. and my friend too. But that's what I thought. Get off me. Sometimes, John, I can just punch you. At the pin. Dun -dun. Polar bears are actually black underneath their fur. The cute thing with polar bears is they cover their nose when they're hunting, because it's the only thing that shows up. Because they've got a black nose. So that shamrock pin, and Jake got mad. Why do you have that pen, Jake? What mess are you in? When they stalk in something. Let's talk to him. Okay, Jake. I told you! Desmond O'Leary. Huh? I know you work for him. Now you're just making stuff up. Why would you say that? I saw the shamrock in your locker. I know what it means. Okay. Let's say you're right. So what? What are you gonna do, huh? Hmm. We're pals. I won't do a thing. Mm. But please, tell me the truth. Okay, I, I guess I should have said something. Business isn't going that well lately. Natalia was my last well-paying job. And it's been a while. Then, O'Leary shows up and offers me a, 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 a bodyguard contract. What was I supposed to do? Yeah, I understand. Seriously, you don't seem like the type to accept uh, shady offers. <laughs> I've done things like that, and worse, that I'm not proud of them. This very morning, for example. Hey, uh, O'Leary might run an illegal gambling operation, but it's not like he's killing people or conning widows. And I, I'm just a bodyguard. 
I make sure no one gets hurt. What I do, including my contract and paycheck, is 100% legal. How bad can that be? O'Leary pays you with dirty money, and you're part of a criminal organization. There's no two ways about it, but that's not what bothers me. Ooh, don't accuse him. I know you're covering up O'Leary's role in Joe Dunn's death. Huh? O'Leary? No way. I mean, I don't think so. Jake, please. Well, I guess there's no point in Twist hiding Twist his nipple. Now. Sorry. I was here the day Dunn died. Go on. I had to take care of some business for O'Leary. He makes me wear the shamrock when I work for him. As mm. you know, I left the damn thing in my locker. Say no more. You came in the back door. How did you... Yeah, that's it. Joe had mentioned he'd been painting that afternoon. Oh, but I forgot. People. I stopped in my tracks when I saw him screaming bloody murder at Bobby Hill at the top of the scaffold. You could have told me this. What exactly was he saying? Uh, something like, uh, if you do that, I'll call up the fight and make sure you never set foot in this gym again. I didn't want them to see me, so I left. Jake, why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be pissed off. Well, you were wrong. I'm sorry, John. I, I should have said something. You should have. Let's just say you owe me one, all right? You sure drive a hard bargain, John. All right. Time to go. I need to think about everything you just told me. Okay. So we've got new infos. And he was what, at the top of this? And then is that why the paint's knocked over? Because he like... What exactly was he saying? Uh, fell off or something? Something like, uh, if you do that, I'll call up the fight and make sure you never said He shook it, he fell, he broke his neck, he made it look like a suicide. What exactly was he saying? Uh, something like, uh, if you do that, I'll call up the fight and make sure you never set foot in this gym again. Mm hmm. Let's tell the girl. I like to think he runs really fast in that little segment where the pole is blocking the view. He's like, <laughs> and then walks all cool again. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation okay. work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Interesting. Uh, I didn't get any more deductions from that, though. I can say to you. Do you remember anything else about Joe Dunn and Bobby Yale's argument? No, not, uh, not really, no. Only Joe yelling. If you do, I'll call off the fight and kick you out of the gym. Okay. What's that reveal, though? I don't know if he's going to like me going in his locker again. Okay, I can have a look now, huh? To my favorite Damn. bodyguard. I'd forgotten that Jake used to work for Natalia. This proves I was right. It's too soon to move on. Hmm. I can't look at the other stuff. Okay. What about in his... The fact he knew exactly what locker was being opened when uh, he was in the other room training there. 
Why can I keep looking at this, but I can't look at that again? What is it about this? No. Hole. Is that a clue? Because usually when I don't need anything anymore, like these toilets, now I can't click on them again. Maybe she's back at the uh, diner now. Oh, let me try the phone. Sir, walk. Please. Is it... Okay, there's a pole in the way. All right. Maybe I can call someone now. <laughs> the stretcher in the alley. I think we already looked at that on the goats. The goat had it. We like to do stuff. Hey, it's me again. Thing is, Joe Dunn's daughter hired me. All right, thanks, Joe. But I still don't get it. Any signs of foul play? Yeah. His pupil, Bobby Yale. No one's seen him since Dunn hanged himself. Well, his coach killed himself a few weeks before his big fight. Must be drowning his bad luck in booze. Okay, he proposed to a girl so, the day before. Are you gonna help me? you again. I helped you with your little problem when they killed Natalia. And we agreed not to talk about it ever again. See you, John. Always a pleasure. Ring, ring. Smirnoff. I think I have a new lead on the Dunn case. Dunn and the gym cleaning lady were about to get married. Great. Call what's news. They'll know what to do with such an incredibly interesting piece of information. The combination on Dunn's safe was her birthday. He even gave her a ring. You know, your typical suicidal bliss. Okay, I'm still not convinced, but I might have something for you. Go on. Jukebox is out of order. Off off key. Like a bad song. And what's the point? The notes come together but feel flat. Unable to create anything resembling music. And yet, there are ways to string them together to create harmony. Ways that are not always entirely in our hands. And somebody just knocking on the window at you as you walk past. Like, what are you doing? Coming in in a second. A cat and a dog, eh? Time. Working together. I can't help it. It's just the way we cats are. Well, I can't help but be glad to see you. Yep, I'm beat. I'm starving. Just got back from the annual police medical. Okay, but Not please, when he helps fast, us, can we say something like, two enormous who's a good boy? Water. Like, that has to happen, right? John, you all right? I'm always all right. Yep, that's the problem with us men. The thing is, I'd love to help a you. Out dog with case, a I dog can't. with hands. A dog with human hands. You know I work for the state of New York. If I had any information, I couldn't share it with a private eye. Even if it was lying on top of this table. Hmm. 
You drank two huge glasses of water. How are your kidneys coping with that? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should uh, go to the... If you'll excuse me. <clears throat> like a werewolf. Joseph Richard Dunn. Let's take a look. Office of the Chief Medical Examiner. Postmortem. Preliminary uh, cause of death. Violent asphyxia. Case number. Suicide. Form of death. Violent asphyxia caused by rope around neck. Presented four ring-shaped marks around the entire circumference caused by rope. No internal autopsy was performed since external evidence seemed sufficiently conclusive. Time, date of death, 7 p.m. October 19, 19, star, star. I guess they hide what year this is. Okay. East Manhattan. Swollen, slightly scraped knuckles on the subject's right hand caused by recent trauma. Interesting. Literally doesn't even say that on the page, but... From fighting, baby. Now I feel even thinner. So do my kidneys. Thanks. Truth is, John, it all seemed clear to me before, but now? Please, promise me you won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. Hmm. I'll try, but sometimes there's no alternative. All right. In any case, keep me posted, will you? Sure. You can count on me. Can't make a promise care, I might not keep. As always, Smirnoff had given me new, potentially relevant information. Not to mention second thoughts. When an old dog like him gets that serious, one must be prepared to bite. Crowbar in that doggy reference. When an old dog gets a new trick and is a dog. Um, swollen knucks. The argument. And something's fishy. The argument. He wanted to call off the fight. Oh. His swollen knuckles. His weight and height. Fishy. Weight. He's like too heavy for the rope or something. Hmm. He was moided. God. Damn. He wasn't tall enough to hang himself from that noose. Because it was like in the ceiling, I guess. I'm much taller than Dunn. And I can barely reach the noose. I feel like this would have been entirely obvious from the first There's time he walked no into way the gym. Dunn hanged himself. Not on his own, at least. Time for another deduction. I'm a long cat. Argument. Knuckles. Ooh, the punched paint. We said the paint can was like it was punched. Do you remember? Threw a paint can in the trash. 
And then... Ah, oh, dude. Didn't give me a second. Okay, so it's the fight. The Nux. The paint can. And then maybe it was that one. Damn it. Okay, maybe it's wanting to call off the fight. Knuckles. Call off the fight. Uh, wasn't cool. wasn't tall enough. Wasn't tall enough. And he had swollen knuckles. It wasn't, it wasn't, it just had a fight. Ah, the stain. He had a fight. There's a paint can. There's a stain. And... It's all the knuckles. Dunn must have punched the can while he was arguing with Yale. I guess that explains why he threatened to call the fight off. <laughs> if that made your knuckles swollen... You're a boxer? Your hands made of glass? Oh, not this, that other one. Brittle boned? Let's see, what else do we have? Bam, 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 bam. Yes, the chest expander is the marks. Maybe he choked him with that. Killed with a bloody chest expander. I don't know if you had a motive to kill Dunn, but you certainly had the murder weapon. We can go get the murder weapon from outside. A new deduction. Okay, so then we have that he wanted to call off the fight. And that's why he was killed. Christ. Did Yale kill Dunn just because he wanted to call off the fight? <laughs> he looks like a, a serial mascot or something. Oh, God. What are you, like the Cheetos cat? I always knew Bobby had issues. But I never thought he'd go that far. I don't think he did it, but, I mean, the evidence is... Everything seems to point in that direction. I'm certain of it. But he could have been framed, couldn't he? Hmm. Possibly. In any case, that doesn't change a thing. It's kind of awkward just talking to Lucky. It does, actually. Now we know he didn't kill himself. My father's still dead. And you still haven't found Bobby Yale. Nothing has changed. Opening the safe and finding my father's will won't help us achieve anything. So please hurry. Time's wasting. <laughs> nice. Sonia's indifference Progress. never ceased to amaze me. But most importantly, why was she suddenly defending Yale? Why indeed. John Blacksad? I think I owe you an apology. <laughs> it's the Irish wolf. Apology accepted. But what exactly are you apologizing for? <laughs> Uh, listen, I don't think my fellow workers treated you with the respect you deserve. I'm so sorry they wrinkled your suit. The thing is, uh, they didn't know we shared a common goal. Bobby Yale. I want to find him and get to the bottom of this as much as you do, Mr. Blacksad. So please, kindly accept my invitation. 
Why not share our findings? Come on. Sure. Of course. You don't mind me riding in this fancy car with a wrinkled suit, do you? Oh, I think you look mighty dapper, Mr. Black Sad. Although, if those wrinkles were to rub off on me... Sorry? <laughs> I always play it nice and safe. You hitting on me? should really give up smoking black sad they were blatantly just gonna hit us like over the head anyway and force us in may as well just get in <laughs> the driver thank you black sad amazing you won't regret this so let's cut to the chase I need Bobby Yale to fight Stone. There's just too much money at stake. So, I'm offering you my help to find Yale. Let's work together. Okay. What kind of help do you need? A simple exchange of information. You're a good detective. And I, well, let's just say I have my own ways of making people talk. I think I'll have to pass this time. Why? What? Do my own ways scare you? Please, hear me out. Let's say I bet a beer that we find Yale in three days, and you bet a beer that we don't. In three days, one of us has to buy the other a beer. Is that so bad? We're simply two grown men using our money and free will to conduct a small private exchange. And most importantly, we're not hurting anyone. So, yeah, I run a gambling business. What's so bad about that? Nothing, really. I can't really say. Well, I can. Nothing. But I'll tell you what is wrong. The way our government is ruining America. We live in a so-called free country. A place where honest people can make a living, provided they don't hurt anybody. We're not communists. Well, at least I'm not. I would have never thought otherwise. As for me... With all due respect, it's none of your business. Ooh, all right. Never mind then. In any case, that's not my point. The government betrays our nation's values by passing communist laws that forbid an honest man like me to make a living without hurting a soul. And that, Mr. Black said, is just wrong. I'd even say it's unconstitutional. Do you get my point now? Sure. Sure, sure. All right. I get your point. Ha! I knew you would. When the government passes these laws, there's only one legitimate weapon the people can wield. The same weapon that turned America into a great nation. Money. Civil disobedience. Oh. So, as the proud American that I am, it's my duty to disobey. Sure, sure, sure. Next. You might have a point. In certain cases, civil disobedience is both right and duty. Exactly. And when you duty. hear just how I've transformed this business, you'll agree even more. I wasn't always a boss, you know. No, sir. I, I don't think this guy has any friends. When Lucky he just Blitzen like wants to tell me his life story. That good for his was a reign of terror, extortion, violence, you know, that sort of unpleasant thing. When I took over, I decided I'd make people want to do to kidnap bid, people to have someone to talk to. It's very lonely. Out of gratitude, I decided to help people so they would help me. That beating your thugs gave me was really helpful. Thank you so much. Ah, ah, ah. Those poor bastards didn't even know you were a detective. That you were on our side. Yes, he did. Maybe at first. But when they tied me up and beat the socks off me, they knew very well who I was. Seriously? That goes against my rules. Who was it? Uh, 
Both of them, to be fair. Yeah, the two of them. Bastards. But don't you worry. I'll have a talk with those two. I cannot tolerate this behavior. Please, accept my apologies, Mr. Blacksad. You this see, in a, nice a lot suit. of people work for me. Many families depend on my business. Not only that, St. Christopher's Hospice practically lives on my donations. The widows of my late employees are set for life. Their kids get free schooling. The cops leave me alone because they know my business doesn't hurt anyone. On the contrary. And, ah, it looks like we're here. Will we going to a casino? Thank God for that, listening to this guy ramble on. I thought we were going to get some information. Just hearing about how great he is. Yale's apartment? <laughs> I told you, I'm on your side. Go ahead, search the place. I'll wait down here. When you're done, maybe you'll change your mind and share your findings with me. Or not. It's your call, Mr. Blacksad. I don't know. I I'll don't think sure I trust him. What do you guys think? I mean, I work for whoever, right? I'm a private detective. Like, if he hired me, fine. But he didn't hire me. The daughter did, so... I don't know if I should really be giving him any information. Although I feel like being a private detective is probably a business where you have to probably get a little messy to uh, get anywhere. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I, I barely know him. <laughs> hmm. Mary went to Luna Park. Mary and Bobby? The diner lady? The worst thing about O'Leary's boys dropping by isn't the beating, but the fact that I can't tell what's theirs and what's Yale's. Mother's question mark. It would have to be like more like a motherly thing, right? If the gym coach is like his dad, then they're going to get married. I can't say this is the ideal drink for an athlete. Then again, it could be your classic bookie thug lunch. She was just trying to get to know the kid. La Fontaine today. Seventeenth uh, century French fables. Mayor must be one boring old lady. August Merrick. Stuck it in. I'm sure there was nothing untoward going on. She's a nice lady. But... Caution. Bathroom. Judging by the general state of the apartment, they were leading a quiet life. Okay. Come on. Anywhere else? Self-portrait. He was an artist. I'm completely over collecting these cards. <laughs> the, the 10 seconds it takes me to stick it in the body book. I just want to get on with the story. Let's see, is his clothes gone? Has he run? Has he done a runner? Why would you want such a big closet for so few clothes? Unless you're a bachelor, that is. Yeah, I don't think anyone took him. Poems. Poems. Copy one of three. Do you know any of his relatives? Is his, his father ever, ever, Avenarius? Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? <laughs> hmm. Happened here. So, you like your mob stories, don't you, Bobby? 
It seems like Bobby inherited something more than boxing skills from his father. Besides the tendency to vanish into What's thin air, of course. On? What's going on indeed? Me, this entire game. Thank you for the 250 bits. Uh, I appreciate it. Mm, what's going on? <laughs> Let's see what kind of food he's got. I'm not sure how Yale's love of pickles will help. Dude, me I bought some pickles recently. They were so out. good. I tried to get a brand that was like kind of similar to burger pickles. They were like an American brand, I think. Rather than traditional pickled gherkins, like a sort of Polish kind or something. I was going to put them in my sandwiches. Pretty good. A woman's fragrance. Almost oh, it's her scarf that she left behind, dude. She was here. That's why she got a cold. She got a cold neck. Put it together. Do you guys like pickles? Gurkins. Uh, she went to Luna Park. There is a scarf. She has a cold. That means she's been here recently, but why? What does Sweet Mary have to do with I wonder with if Yale this is like episodic or something. I feel like we're very close to cracking this open. We only have like one more deduction in there. Okay, I think I looked at everything. Mary and Bobby killed Dunn. I don't know about that, dude. Gotta be a twist here. Right? I guess we'll be picking. It's a mystery. Uh, Emma, Emily, thank you so much for the 15 months. Good to see you. Hope you had an amazing weekend. Thank you very much for the resub. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Let's just give another little loop here, make sure we saw everything. What are these pictures? Anything? It's that book. That was that picture of them. Okay. Go back down. When I left, I told O'Leary I hadn't found a thing. The minute I was alone, I left good, for Mary's. Good, good, good. But before all that, I took a small parting gift for her. The scarf. And the picture. He should show her the picture. He should take that and confront her with it. Never trusted angels. Mr. Black's hat? What a surprise. When they fall, he can't they help but deep. bap at it because he's a cat. He was going to spend he's holding it up. Painting the gym and that Bobby would be fixing something up on the roof. So after I found the body and called the police, I went to Bobby's place, but he wasn't there. Hmm. How did you open the door to his apartment? I think it was already open. Everything is so confusing. I'm sorry, Mr. Blacksad. There's a Statue of Liberty picture behind I'm her that looks like a all. human Statue of Liberty, though. It was an animal in another picture, wasn't it? What's your relationship with Bobby Yale? He was like a son to Joey, and we were about to get married, so, you know. Okay, I think it's time to set things straight. I know you were cheating on Dunn with Yale. Or was it the other way around? No. How can you even think of something like that? How can you convince me otherwise? I found a picture at Yale's apartment. It's you and him on a roller coaster. Spill it. Care to explain, Miss Purnell? I'm not white, Mr. Black said. What? Seven of my great-grandparents were white. The eighth was black. According to law, I'm a black citizen, even if my skin says the contrary. Do you know what that means when you're born in North Arlington, Alabama? Alabama? 
Her accent came out there. Uh, segregated stuffs? All of these things? All of the above? Segregated schools and a worse education for colored children. We even have different water fountains, for God's sake. The separate but equal doctrine and all that. I get to pick my words. Such good words. Let's go with baloney. That baloney. And all the lies. That's why I moved here. No one knows what color my great-grandparents were. I'm black too. And I don't hide it. Well, at least you're a man. In any case, what's that have to do with Bobby Yale? He's my nephew, Mr. Black said. Bum, 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 bum. Joe and I first started taking care of poor Bobby when my sister died. That was when he was almost 15. The three of us went on that trip to Luna Park. So this is where Joe Dunn comes in. Bobby was the only one who knew about me and Joey. We were afraid that someone would use my past to ruin his career. It's not the first time I hear that story. Hmm. Let's apologize. I'm sorry I accused you so lightly. Don't worry. I understand. Let's have a little examine. Have a little look around. What you want? What you got on there, eh? TV and radio all in one. Whoa, a TV ahead. and a radio? What is this? The future? That's well, bonkers. Oh, oh, oh. Femininity starts at home. Belinda Lovelace. Can't tell if that's like a book on feminism or like an adult book. Mary smells like actually the whole room smells like a pie fresh out of the oven. So I can't identify any other fragrances. Oh, pie. Gimme. Okay, something else to smell though. Nothing. Oh, something this way. It's not... The arrow was pointing down there, but I can't... Yeah, it says, like, right, right, right. See, like, the there's the pie. How can I look at it, though? Can't go any more to the right. Or zoom in. Hmm... Ask for the pie. That cherry pie smells pie so eat good. eat it all, I'll be able to smell stuff. I'm starting stuff. to get hungry. Any excuse? Thanks. I pulled it out of the oven right before you arrived. Oh, where are my manners? I'm the worst hostess in the world. It's literally your job to serve people pie. It's like, I don't know what's the matter with you, to be honest. Let me go get a knife from the kitchen. She's gonna try and kill me. And you must be thirsty. Uh, let me see. OJ, coffee? Uh, coffee. I'll take some coffee, thanks. She's wearing the same clothes in both pictures, so she's probably telling the truth. <laughs> Dwayne Hodesman. I'm, like, enjoying this game so much more than I thought. I honestly thought I would do, like, an hour and a half or two hours with it today and then be like, eh. I hadn't really seen any gameplay of it. But it's a pretty good mix. Apart from the walking around being so slow, it's, like, pretty dope. Am I leaving? Or am I going to snoop around while she's finding a knife? How long does it take to, find to get a knife? Sorry, I was going to help you with that. Busted. 
call that a slice? Come on, man. Cut that thing into fours and have a quarter, you know what I mean? There we go. It's poisoned. So you're just watching us eat. It's weird. I couldn't help but notice a queen-size bed in the room. You what? Sorry. I had to make sure Bobby Yeo wasn't hiding Cut. in there. Deleted scene. Oh, yeah. Didn't even go into sure. the bedroom. Joey bought this place. It was going to be our home after the wedding. I left my apartment and moved in so I could save some money. If he had left his own apartment and moved in, you could have saved twice the money. I'm no hooker, Mr. Blackstad. <laughs> well, it wasn't implying you were. About Sonia Dunn and the ring. Well, I told her about you and Joe Dunn. I had no choice. No, I didn't. And what did she say? I don't think she took it too well. But she might come to understand. I kept the secret. Maybe. What are you doing? But I'm not so sure you'll be able to keep my other secrets safe. Did I say anything? I don't think I did. Are you sure you don't know where your nephew is? I've looked everywhere. He's nowhere to be found. Don't worry. I'll find him. Thank you. Your secret is safe with me. I believe you. Thanks. Just waiting for her to be like, I know it is. And then the, world, then the room starts spinning, you know? Now that there's almost no pie left, the scent has also disappeared. Interesting. Now Mary smells like a huge dog. Man, Rude. When are you going to stop lying? I know your nephew is here. I can smell him. What? No. I already told you I don't know where he is. Look, I understand why you're protecting him, but it's in his best interest to end this hide-and-seek. You can search the whole house if you want. Go ahead. He's not here. He's totally in the thing that she's sitting on. If he's not here right now, he must have left shortly before I got here. Where did he go? Shortly before you got here? I wish. Look, if he's making you do this, just tell me. I'll protect you. Bobby would never do that. I think Bobby's innocent, but he's in trouble. So that was her smell, but where else smells? Wait a minute. She's not the one who smells like that. That's where Bobby Yale's scent is coming from. So bait that she's in front of it trying to protect it. So, that's why you were sitting there. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Could you step aside so I can check, please? Please go. Mary, for Christ's sake, put that knife down, would you? Leave or I'll... Hmm. You know I could take that knife from you if I wanted to, Mary. I mean uh, it. I don't want to hurt you. Leave my alone! Uh-oh. Use the tray. Use the knife. Use the floor. God. Look at your blood. Get it. Get the train. <laughs> what an idiot. Ow. Ow. 
have a heart attack? Bobby! Call an ambulance. Do as I say. Go on, call an ambulance. Do it now. In the face of a heart attack, there's two things you can't forget. Check the breathing pipes. Check the the pulsy poos. Stay calm. Two, one chest compression per second. Oh. One Mississippi. <gasps> Two Mississippi. <gasps> Three Mississippi. <gasps> Four Mississippi. Or you don't you do it to that staying alive by the Bee Gees? <gasps> Bobby, oh Bobby. <sighs> Thank you, Bobby. <sighs> Bobby. Oh. Thank you. I had lots of reasons to consider this a great day. I'm a goddamn hero. I had investigated a suicide case. I had discovered that, in truth, we were dealing with a murder. I don't think he did it, though. I had found and captured the prime suspect. I don't know, dude. And I had saved a life. And yet, everything in me screamed that something was going wrong. Mm -hmm. Terribly wrong. Sure feels like it. Oh, a little cat Promise me, you won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. I want a gun! What the hell? Bang, bang, bang! A fair amount of violence, extortion, and casualty. I hate detectives. That you, Smirnoff? You seem agitated. Nightmare? <sighs> yeah, I have a lot of those. Yeah, that makes two of us. Anyway, why don't you go home? In his current condition, Yale's not going anywhere. Besides, we'll take it from here. Hmm. Thanks. I think I need to get some sleep. Yep, that much is clear. As for what happened yesterday, I asked you not to get involved, or at least give me a heads up. Didn't really have much choice, did I? Bobby Yale attacked me. I had to do something. If you had warned me, maybe we could have avoided his assault. If I make promises you can't keep, I didn't. I literally told anyway, you I would do what done, I needed to do. It's done. I feel like this game isn't necessarily remembering all of my choices. <clears throat> That's awkward. <clears throat> Third time's the charm. When, when exactly did you realize that he killed Dunn? Oh god, ambition, yeah, that whole, like, third act was such a, like, huh? Out of sheer curiosity, I'm a cop after all. I don't think he is the killer. To be honest, I'm not so sure Yale killed anyone. How about the motive? Any ideas? Hmm... Ah, I'm keeping it to myself for now. I've got several theories, but that's about it. In any case... Hopefully Yale will tell us more. Would you let me ask him some questions <laughs> when he wakes up? I know you will. 
with or without my permission. So, I'd rather not feel betrayed. In exchange, drop by the station when you can. Your investigation could really help my men. Who, sure. by the way, must be waiting for me to interrogate Mary Purnell. Boy, she was hard to pry from Yale's side. She's been through a lot in the past days. Be nice to her. Of course. In spite of it all, we're not just vigilantes. And as for you, go get some rest. God knows you need it. I can't promise anything. Tell the nurses to look at that face of yours. You look like a film detective in his last scene. I'm afraid this film isn't over yet. For your sake, I hope you're wrong. You're in charge now, officer. Okay. I'll send you relief in six hours. Understood? Doctor. Who are... Oh, detective. Congratulations. You fared pretty well against that kid. Better than most would have. <laughs> Creepy. Now, if you'll excuse me. Let's just say I got lucky. <sighs> Give him a sniff. We, as a society, <laughs> simply don't trust reptiles. Go. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is our extended belief that there's logic to that distrust. That it's natural and well-founded. Where else am I looking at? Looking at your name there. Dr. Palmer. How's Yale? Is he awake? Oh yeah. Go check on him before he falls asleep You've again. You've been Sherlocked, son. Although, try not to bother him with too many questions. What's his current condition? Um, it's too soon to tell. He did have a heart attack after all. And then he fell over. Can we go home and sleep now? Feels like this is the start of a new act, a new chapter. God damn it, go John. Away. Go home and sleep, god damn sleep. it. Why am I in here now? The doctor told me to sleep. <laughs> Dog I is ripped. really get to interrogate a suspect with his guard down in a place as quiet Dog's on as the this. roids, man. Getting the chance to study his body language with no distractions is a rare gift. When does this game save? His heart rate is increasing. It could mean that he's lying, but it could also just be pure, unadulterated rage. He's looking straight at me. <laughs> If he couldn't hold my stare, I'd think he's lying. But that's not the case. Who's a good boy? Literally like how the cat kind of looks mixed with a human, but the dog head is just literally a dog head. Um, what else am I looking at? Your knuckles? He's clenching his fist. A sign of contained anger. Clenched fist. Fast heart rate. Fixed stare. He feels some genuine rage towards me. I'm sorry you don't want to see me, but... Tough. I'm afraid you'll just have to put up with me. For now. Luckily, I just got my medication. I'll be snoozing soon. All right, I'll just cut to the chase. Mm. I don't think he killed him. Who killed Joe Dunn? What? Are you trying to confuse me? Joe hanged himself. Dunn was too short to hang himself with that rope. So, it's true? He was murdered. I know the murder weapon was yours. What? The rope? I don't get it. What weapon do you need? Don't play with me, boy. The chest expander. An expander? I've never had one of those. In your locker. All right. Let's just say that I... I believe you. See your fancy hat. Have a lovely dinner. 
The murderer killed Dunn with a chest expansion. <laughs> Not this scene and again. The eyes to do. make us believe it was suicide. But he also left enough clues Look, behind right. to make sure we found the true murder weapon. Then he put the chest expander box in your locker to frame you. Do you know anyone that twisted and who also happens to have a mo- I... I don't know. It's really starting to look like Jake, isn't it? Frank Cassidy. What one was that? That was the walrus. Desmond was the wolf. I don't know. I mean, it, I, don't, I hate to because he's a friend, but it kind of... He's there, you know, with his locker next to his. Maybe it was... What am I saying? Jake could never pull off something like that. <laughs> Nothing. Never mind. Oh, okay. Who do we think it is, then? Desmond O'Leary certainly seems twisted enough. Did he have anything against the them? game's like ah, I'm not sure it's if not they him. knew each other. At least not in person. About a month ago, Joe kicked one of O'Leary's men out of the gym. He was trying to give a business card to Jake was the army. Yeah, exactly. Did Jake tell you about that? Something like that. What about Frank Cassidy? Do you think he has a motive? Maybe. A few weeks ago. Joe took me to a boxing manager's association meeting. Headed by Cassidy. Yeah. He was obsessed with making it illegal for boxers to fight without a manager. I love or these little without scenes. an associated manager. And the little notepad. Everyone seemed to go coming. along with it until Joe spoke up. He said that would lower us to mob status. That Cassidy had founded the association just to make money by monopolizing the sport. That made others think twice. And Cassidy ended up empty-handed. Poor Cassidy. Hmm. Dunn accused Cassidy of corruption. What about Sonia Dunn? Sonia? I doubt it. She's odd. But she's his daughter. I've seen worse. Believe me. Black Sat. I think I owe you an, uh... uh you know... My father disappeared when I was six. Don't change right the subject. To apologize to me. We never heard from him again. Do you know what that does to a kid? Who knows where I'd be if Joe Dunn hadn't been in my life. Even when I lost my way and put a gun to his head years later, he still took me under his wing and managed to steer me in the right direction. And now that he's gone, you're risking your life to find his murderer. Thanks. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh. His legs should start twitching like he's chasing cars in his dreams. The number of cigarette butts is inversely proportional to my hours of sleep. Ah, damn. them boots. We got some white paint on there. Don't sniff them. Oh, no white paint. But his shoes smell like a dead man. Hmm. His shoes smell like a dead man. You do the footprints at the gym belong to? I guess he could have cleaned no, them. No, the footprints don't match. If Yale killed Dunn, he did it without stepping in the paint. Oh, all the shoes. deduction is that it's not him who stepped in it. I see. Well, let him rest, I guess. 